Hello Internet, I'm Amara Smokadotti and welcome to You Will Not Remain. I'm trying out a new camera angle here, so um, forgive me if it looks a little wonky. I'm just trying to work on it a little bit. Uh, trying to make it look nice. So this is a game I found on Steam, which was... Sorry, I just my mic. Um, it looked like, kind of like, it was a free game. And it looked kind of like a um, My Friend the Raven, kind of like, maybe a little bit of a, a Heartbound or Undertale kind of vibe to it. And it looked really interesting. It was free, so I was like, hey, let's check it out. And it's already uh, not making much sense. So <laughs> let's see what we can find out. This game was made on the land of the Warren Jerry Wool Warring people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging. Sovereignty was never ceded. Colonial violence never stopped. I'm not sure what that means. If it's game lore, if it's actually a thing. I'm at apologies. So, <laughs> You Will Not Remain is a story about isolation that contains dark themes and deals with mental health issues. So, this includes uh, to anxiety, depression, associations, uh, ideation, which I've experienced all of those. So, if you, if you have issues with those, recommend maybe not watch this. <laughs> maybe just uh, head out if you suffer from like. Well, if you don't deal well with these things, these things trigger you. Don't don't watch. Maybe. Oh. And here we are. We are this person, I believe, as far as I remember. Oh, the controls. Okay, easy, easy, okay. Okay, let's just play. You will not remain as a short game intended to be played in one sitting. There is no saving. That's fine. We can deal with that. Oh! Oh! This is pretty! Where am I? Am I in bed? Oh, I'm in bed! Again. How many more agains will you have? How long have you been here? Oh, that was a different person. Does it matter? I guess that was a different person talking. Oh, it's got a little itch. <laughs> got a little itch on my hip. Weird. That usually means something's wrong. It's my sense tingling. Can I interact with things? Oh, oh! Channel after channel of nothing. So is that like my thoughts talking? The leaves are drooping. You should water it. You fill the watering can and take it to the plant. You soak the base, hoping it's both enough and not too much at the same time. You've never been good with plants. And sometimes trying too hard is what kills them. What the fuck was that? Also, oh, things like outlined in purple are like interactable. You still have plenty of grounds. An instant, and you're desperate. You haven't even gone through all the apartments on this floor, making it as, as much ritual as it is comfort. You cradle the cup in your hands, warmth seeping into your fingertips. It grows cold as you stare at the sink, the ceiling, the strange shapes your hands make around porcelain. You pour it down the sink, wash the cup before putting it away. Maybe tomorrow will be easier. Oh, that's sad. Is that a window or a painting? I can't tell. I think it's a window. Oh! Holy crap. Is it getting bigger or was it always that size? If you were prone to poetry, you'd almost say it was beautiful in a, fat in a fat fatalistic sort of way. But you're not. Haven't been for some time. You've run out of pretty metaphors for awful things. Damn. There's not much else to do. You could walk circles around the apartment. Or you could go back to bed. Bark, bark. Oh. Is that a dog? Impossible. It's been a week since you've been stuck here. You would have surely heard it before this. Bark, bark, bark. Oh. oh, you better go see what it is, just in case. Come on, open the door. You know you can. Can't you? Oh, oh. You can do this. Come on. Like, saying the words will help. Oh. Just do it. It's wrong. Everything is wrong. You don't belong here. You need to get back inside. It's only down the hall. You can do this. Okay. Bark, bark! 
Oh! There's something wrong with this apartment. Is that a dog? But it doesn't look like any dog you've ever seen. It's thin, skin stretched tight across ribs, long body all bones, and hard angles. Does it have fur on it? Hey, it's okay. I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. That's right. Everything's okay. Do you want to come with me? <laughs> Is that a yes? Can I pet it? Oh, I can pet it. Hi, baby. Aren't you a cutie? Whoa! The dog jumps forwards before you can reach. You brace for pain and instead feel the drag of its tongue across your chin. It pants happily as it tries to lick every inch of your face. Aww. Whoa! Down! It drops to all fours, looking obediently up to you, tongue lolling out of its mouth, bisected by a wickedly sharp teeth. Well, it's this way, I guess. So we made a dog friend. Why the fuck is there a hand on the window, whatever the hell that is? I can't really do anything with it. Also, am I wearing a mask, or is that like just my head? You're glad to leave. Something is wrong here. A new kind of emptiness. No bed, no chairs, no life. How'd the dog even get here? The two of you leave it. Leave it will be like nothing has ever been here at all. Except the hand, like tapping on the window, apparently. The dog follows at your heels, nose sniffing furiously at the air. Bark, bark! Just a little further. Okay. Is there anything past my room I can check out? There's stairs. A mouth door. Is there anything over here at all? Is there a secret? I can't, I can't use the stairs. Okay, that's fine. So from what I gather, we are in an apartment complex and I know there's kind of like an apocalypse going on, I think, from what I read about the summary, it's like an eldritch, eldritch horror apocalypse. And so, yeah, that's what's going on. I have no idea. Dog runs in ahead of you, tail wagging so hard it makes a loud thump when it stops the wall, just like my dog, just like my big dog, Cooper. Glad to see you like it. Oh, he's cute. I have an eyeball rug. This is kind of an aesthetic. I'm just going to say it right now. This is a total aesthetic. Hi, doggo. Can I give you a pet? You're like an eldritch horror dog. This is an assignment for one day. It's time to go to sleep. Arf? Bed. Arf! I guess you're sleeping with me. You know, I kind of want to go outside. Do you say anything else? Because there's an option here, so. Oh! It's not moving. Okay. Well, it is kind of moving, but I'm not saying anything, so I'm gonna assume. All right, let's head to bed. You peel back the covers and slide in the bed. The dog is a warm, sprawling mass above you, content to be pushed around as you make yourself comfortable. When you sit up into the sheets and lays its head across your neck, warm metallic breath lulling you to sleep. <coughs> oh, speaking of which, hi. Hi, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Oh, shit. You're dreaming again. You remember being worried about her. You remember waiting anxiously at the door. You remember how the apartment still smelled of her for weeks, the sweetness of her perfume lingering in the sheets. They don't smell like her anymore. What was that noise? This is a dream. If only things were that easy. Well, what am I supposed to do then? Oh! Whatever that thing is. What is that? Radio? Radio static. Video killed radio star achievement. No. St he. Stay. No. You can't do this again. If you don't think about it, it's like it's like it never happened. Stay. Inside. Please. No. Oh my god, the dog is shoving around. Hi, bud. Okay, I'm up, I'm up. That's certainly one way to be woken up. You can't complain, though. Not when it saved you from... Right. You have the dog now. A very strange-looking dog. But a dog nonetheless, anyway. Alright, let's feed it a little bit. Do we have any dog food? You get it water, then fill a bowl with what's in the fridge. Patience, sausages, and double-toasted bread. You hope it's good enough. When you set it down, the dog lunges desperately towards the food. Munch, munch. It's eating so fast you barely see it chew. 
Better not throw that up. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Just don't throw up, please. I don't want to clean it up. You watered a plant. Has it gotten bigger? It's not dead. I mean, that means something. There we go. That's a something. You know. Coffee. You make coffee, just like every other morning. You cradle the cup in your hands, staring at the walls and the cage of your fingers around the cup. Until the liquid cools, just like every other morning. But this time something is different. The dog is here looking more at a home than you've ever felt. The coffee is cold, but you drink it anyway. Bitter all the way down. Are you hungry? You're lucky we don't have any neighbors. You already ate as well, so... Well, you fed the dog. May as well feed yourself. You cook it with you cook with whatever you can find. Thankful for the electric stove top. Stove top. The, we still have electricity in this situation. You from the pan, standing over the stove. No one's here to judge you. Burp, burp. You've already fed the dog. What do they want? Burp, burp. Maybe he has to go to the bathroom. Is there anything new out here? Apparently not. All right, doggo. What do you need? You want to leave? Okay, you're the boss. Alright, I guess- Well, it probably has to go to the bathroom. It's a dog, right? And it, and it hasn't been out since we got it, so it probably has to go potty. That's <laughs> how dogs work, if you didn't know. It's easier to manage a terror that climbs up your spine when the dog is so happy to be outside. Where are we going? Woo! Hold your horses! Can I run? I can't run, but I can walk. That's good enough for me. Ah, who wants to go upstairs or downstairs? Ah, you never been up here. Arr, arr. Aww. Oh, that's it's you worry if you stare too long, you'll fall in. Arr. The dog stares at you, imploring. For a moment, its eyes flash violet. No, you're imagining things. It's just a dog. Throw the ball. As it received. Okay, so I just. There you go, bud! That's so cute. You can almost ignore the lilac glow when you're playing fetch. Forget for a moment the vast, over otherworldly thing stretching us through the sky. Where is everyone else? Is everyone else just dead? Are we like one of the last? The dog doesn't seem worried about it. Well, I mean. To a normal dog, it probably wouldn't mean much at all. Especially once I got used to it. What time is it? Noon? Evening? Probably midday. At least one of them. Maybe even all of them. Is the sun gone? Is this like that um, that alternate world game where it was like the sun vanished? I think that's enough for one day. Aww. We can come back tomorrow. Arr! Look at the sky. Is that like a fucking vampire? And oh, Is that a bird? It looks like a bird, doesn't it? Like the wings and there's like a beak on top. Like it's like eating. It's like om nom. It's like, is it just me? Maybe it is. I don't know. Someone's in a rush. Hey, at least we have company now, you know. We got someone who can like, we can talk to and everything and play with and take care of. And that kind of helps. In bad situations like depression and anxiety, I would know. Didn't take you long to figure out home. The dog looks proud of itself. Okay, then. You're so tired. When was the last time your lungs had tasted fresh air? Can't remember. <coughs> I'm sorry. That's all I have for today. <coughs> uh, I guess this is my life now. <laughs> also, my dog is barking in the background, so that's fun. All right. You crawl under the covers. You still haven't washed them. Not since... Ugh. The dog lays atop of you, heavier than expected, seeing as it's skin and bone. It cuddles into you, knife-long teeth a whisper from your throat. You can feel its heartbeat through the blanket, the gentle expanding of its chest beneath your hand. Is it gonna kill us? It better not. I trust you, Popo. You wish this was over. The static and the radio again. Z stay inside. If you don't let them in, they can't get inside. Silence. No sound, no thought. You type in her number into your phone. You know it's know it by off by heart. The sound of the buttons are a familiar melody. Ring, ring. It rings out. You try again and again and again. 
Ring, ring. Nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. Maybe she's fine. Try to convince yourself. Don't let anyone in. That isn't already inside. She, she has to be inside. Maybe already downstairs. Just in time. Just in time. Oh! Dog. <laughs> okay, we're up. We're up. Okay. Okay, what am I plant? When you touch the soil, it's bone dry. Since it's always thirsty and, and a need so deep it couldn't be slacked by an ocean. You used to know something about need. Now you won't let yourself remember what it means to need anything, let alone want it. So I do, I am wondering, like, I, is this like based on an HP Lovecraft thing, maybe? I don't know, I haven't read much. Um, also a horrible person. But the thing, I don't get it. Like, is it like, it's not Cthulhu, so it has to be something else. So it's like, it invaded, and it was like outside, and it was like infecting people or something. So I'm going to assume this person's loved one was outside, and they died, <laughs> or something happened. I don't know. I don't know. First things first, coffee. You make it and hold the cup until the liquid cools. You look down at, at it, foreign in your unfamiliar hands. You pour it down the sink. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> and the bark and the dog. Here you go. Munch, munch. You're slowly getting used to living with the dog. How long has it been now? Can't remember. You should probably name them. Uh, let's give you a name. What's your name? You can't keep calling them dog after all. Bark, bark. That's very helpful. Um, how about Rex? Hmm. Uh, marble? Hmm. Marble sink. Hmm. I hate that name too. Gas stove? <laughs> no. Okay, uh, shank? Burr? Lamb shank. Burr! Lamb shank? Really? Alright, you're the boss. The newly named Lamb shank looks absurdly pleased with himself. Fine. I guess his name is Lamb shank now. I think I might have said that in the description. I'm not sure. Look at that. Look at that. Sky. Oh, wait. Is this slowly changing? I can't tell. Alright, I guess we're gonna go outside, bud. Bark, bark! Alright, let's go outside and play. Use some exercise. You know, we all need some. Also, what is my face supposed to be? Am I wearing a mask? I still can't- I just don't really quite understand. Was I infected by the- by the Eldritch Horror and now I have like a weird face? Or were all the people in this world like weird? Maybe. Nothing has changed. It's still the same. The sky is... it's there. Don't think about it. Hmm. Throw the ball. There you go, buddy. I have a, oh wait, I'm gonna... how long has it been since you've become stuck here? Is this like an air conditioner thing? It must be. I thought it was maybe it was a barbecue for a second. Go get it, buddy. Yeah. Someone could tell you it had been weeks, months, or years and you believed them. It's not like you can see the sun anymore. Sometimes you forget other people, what other people look like. The way their skin feels, how the muscles in their back shift when you hold them. Just the thought of touching someone makes your skin crawl. You feel claustropho claustrophobic and desperate at the same time. Wrong. Weird. I guess that would, like, that would happen. Especially if you're not, if like, you're an introvert and you're not accessible to begin with. Like, being isolated for so long, even introverts have a hard time doing that. Like, I am an introvert and I still have a hard time doing that. Because you still need people, even though you don't need them all the time. Or you don't want them all the time. You still need to be around others sometimes, so. It would affect people. It definitely would. Alright, let's go inside, buddy. Alright, now I guess we can, um, do a dinner thing. You should eat something. But maybe you shouldn't. You only ate five minutes ago, right? Or was it five days? Do you think I should eat lamb shank? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Don't ask a dog if you should eat. Because <laughs> a dog a dog wants to eat all the time. Especially, I mean, even a cat does. You make a meal of whatever you can find and eat it over to the stove top. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. He sounds like a Pokemon. You and Lampshank are used to this dance by now. You settle them together and drift to sleep. Oh, the dream. 
You're doing something to wake up. There isn't how this works. Don't look at the sky. The sky? What's wrong with the sky? What can possibly happen to the sky? I can't interact with that anymore. This reminds me of like, those creepy pastas. Oh! Why is he surprised? That's... It's... How? It hurts to look at. It's wrong. Not made for this world, but somehow captivating all the same. But why? If you're imagining things. You must be. This isn't real. This can't be real. A fever dream, surely. If you go back inside, this world will return to normal. It has to. She'll come home and everything will be there the way it always has. Is this like reliving? Bzzzt. Yeah, like this is like a creepypasta I read a while back. This is your public service announcement. The voice is robotic, clinical, and detached. Well, this world forever changes. Do not let anyone in that come. Do not let anyone in that comes from outside. For the safety of yourself and others. We repeat, do not let anyone in from outside. No. Our homes are safe as long as we are in them. Do not let anyone in that returns from the outside. We repeat, people from outside are displaying signs. Oh. So we're slowly getting more and more information, and I'm very curious. Yes, Lamb Shank, I know. I want to get up. Predictable. Okay. Water the plant. You take care of the plant. You don't feel like you're there when you water it. Your hands are unfamiliar, your body unfamiliar, and your mind alien even after all this time. Yee, dissociation, my friend. Is there a plant? Is, was that there before? You used to go to bed excited for your morning coffee. Now it's just another thing you do. Is this plant, like, growing? Or, like, did I just not notice it? Weird. TV? You used to wonder when the power would turn off. You don't wonder about much of anything anymore. It's time you feed Lamb Shank. So, like, there's still... Like, I thought about that earlier. There's still power. Weirdly. Like, it can't be just us, then. I don't think. Because there has to be, like, people, like, actually taking care of, like, the, like, TV. Or well, maybe it's just electronic, but I don't... I don't know. Munch Munch. He's eating. It can't just be... I don't know. Lampshake likes it on the balcony. You don't. Something about him shifts under the like sky, pushing him to be free. He looks hungry out here, more alien. Looks kind of cute. Looks kind of cute. He's a, he's a good boy. He likes it out here, so are we going to stay out here or what? Oh, guess not. Lampshake has decided it's time for fetch. Bark, bark. So, like, maybe he's just... Maybe he, sh he was just a normal dog, but he's he was infected by the horror or whatever. I don't want to call it. Is it like the purple? I'm not going to call it like... Bark, bark. I almost want to call it the blight. Isn't like the blight like a, an infection or something? But like, that probably wouldn't work. I don't know what it's called. The Eldritch. He was infected by the Eldritch. Sometimes you think about getting outside and being done with it all. Finished. Oh dear. This is the suicide ideation we were speaking about. But you have lamb shake now. Yeah. Any reason to live is a good one for me. You know what I mean? Like, it, no matter how small the reason, it's, it's good enough. You know what I mean? You won't, walk the, you won't walk down the stairs and pry the border doors open, fingernails catching on the wooden nails as you claw yourself out. No. You'll stay here. So what are we- so are we just like- it's boarded up so like we can't even get out? For however long that is. Time to go, Lamb Shank. We throw the ball about three times and I guess it's your exercise for the day. Cause like, Greyhounds look pretty fucked up and weird even though they're like actual dogs. So maybe he's like- he was like a Greyhound that got infected by the thing or something. I don't know. I'm just like- that's my- that's my suspicion. Cause he does seem like a normal dog, but the, he looks weird and apparently acts weird. Time for bed? Yeah. Huh? That's weird. You can hear something. Ooh! Oh! Z- Hello? What? Z is anyone there? No. You're imagining things. It's not possible. It can't be- Wine. Was that a fucking dream? That might not have been a fucking dream. Hey, it's okay. I'm okay. Are you? Lampshake's eyes are wide, while you're trembling above yours. 
Scared. You never seen him like this before. Did the radio frighten him? Everything feels so fuzzy. You pet, your pet Lambshank, running fingers down his spine, each vertebrae sharp against them. You're so tired. Now we're dreaming. What did you do? This is your public service announcement. The people from outside are marked. They can only get in if you let them in. We cannot stress this enough. Do not let her in. She will hurt you. Wait, what? I can't go to the radio, so this is the only thing I can do. Please let me in! She's here! She's safe! She's- Do not let them in! They will hurt you! Please, babe! Let me in! I'm scared! We repeat, they will hurt you! Oh, I should not let her in. I should not let her in. You're at the door, unable to open it. Heart beating so hard you can taste blood in the back of your throat. You want to let her in. You do, but nothing feels real. Everything feels real. You try to move to open the door, but your body isn't responding. It's like watching someone else, like you're no longer there. Like you're watching yourself like someone else would watch you. Babe, please, I'm so scared. So are you. White noise. White. You don't think you just... <laughs> you don't think you can just let her in if you wanted to. Bzz, not safe. The screaming starts. Or the sparkles, apparently. You are brittle and this is what breaks you. Oh, or the dog bouncing on my chest. Breaking my ribs. <laughs> I'm up, lamp shake. I'm up. Is anything real? Does the dog... Does he know? Is anything real? You just went to your closet to think about that? I mean... Is anything real? You watered a plant just in case. <laughs> I mean, we just came in from, like, two possible dream sequences, so I have no idea either. But I'm, you know. Best to be safe than sorry. Are you going to drink your coffee? Oh, is anything real? You can keep asking the question, or you could, like, do something productive. Is anything real? <laughs> real or not, you need to feed lamb shank. Yeah. Keep doing what you need to do. One step at a time. Fill up the food bowl. Munch munch. Good dog. Um, then go to the balcony where he likes to be. Oh! Is there anything real? Oh, that's a cute little picture right there. Because this is like us sitting. I don't know. What do you think, Lamb Shank? Oh, I go inside. Max, and I'm trying to pet him or something, but I remember. Bark! Time for fetch, bud? Yeah. Bark, bark. Yeah. Maybe he was like, maybe he knows we're suffering or something and he's trying to help us. That's nice. That's a nice doggy. Okay, buddy. Bark, bark. Okay. Bark, bark. All right. So let's throw the ball around a little bit. Go get it, buddy. All right. If this is real, does it mean anything? I mean, it means as much as you want it to. But you know, it's just a good way to go throughout life. And what's worse, this isn't real, or that it is, and it means nothing at all. I mean, technically, you can put whatever you're worth you want on anything. So like, it's like names. Um, what name, what, well, hold on. What worth do names have except given by oneself, is what I will say. You're like what 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 has meaning but the meaning given to by someone else you know what i mean so it's like life it has a meaning but it's whatever meaning you wanted to have <laughs> i can't even remember what she looked like how she smelled can't recall how she fit within these spaces it's sad it is sad bark bark keep on walking keep on moving Our door is cute. It has stars on it. You want to eat some dinner, buddy? Not a chance. Oh. Okay. Here's we're going to bed, then. You pull back the covers to get into bed. You're already half asleep. Bzz. Attention, citizens! Wait, what? So there are people! 
Attention citizens, the city has fallen. Uh, I kind of I kind of figured it out by now, my friend. That's enough, Lambshank. In the coming months, we will be evacuating any remaining survivors. Whoa. Lambshank, we might be able to, get to leave. Hmm. Make sure to keep your radio on to receive pickup coordinates. Animals have been... Lambshank, what's wrong? Lambshank looks nervously around the room, flinches at the sound of the radio. We will tell you when it's safe to leave. Arr! It's okay. Let's go to bed. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, there's hope! Animals have been what? You get under the covers. For the first time, Lampshade doesn't join you. Anything but this. Ugh. You can't. You can't open it. Turn your back against the door and slide down until you're a pile on the floor. We repeat, do not let anything in. The screaming continues. On and on and on and... Ugh. Time passes and stops and starts. The radio cracking in and out of its life. Her scream softening, pleas getting weaker as the days stretch to each other. Two weeks later, the radio goes quiet. So does she. Are you alone? White noise, nothing but the raining, ringing in your ears. Somehow the silence is worse than the screaming. Oh crap. Oh, the plant! I got a green thumb achievement. Can I not move? Oh, there we go. You wake slowly. You're used to Lampshake acting as an alarm. All wagging tail and doggy kisses. He's across the room, staring out the balcony, door cracked the sky above. Your dreams always return to her, though each time memory is fuzzier, worn by time. Was she even marked? You'll never know. Well, you kinda had to do what was best for yourself as well. You watered the plant. Something burns in your chest, which you choke it down. Without you, the plant would die. Oh dear. No, you can't. Your stomach keeps turning over and over like something is trying to escape alive. You leave it. The cup's strangely lonely when filled to the brim. Um, feed the feed the lamb feed the feed the lamb shank, feed the dog lamb shank. You fill the bowl, but lamb shank doesn't come running. Lamb shank! Food time. He ignores you. Come on, you need to eat. We're leaving today. Remember, citizens, we have cleared the way. The pickup zone is... It's time to go. Mm. Okay, we'll go out to the balcony one more time for old time's sake, okay? Or I guess we won't. Alright, we're leaving, buddy. Come on. You never see this place again. Is that a good thing? Oh. He's acting funky. Come on, buddy. I know, I know it's different, it's scary, change is always scary, but sometimes change is good. Sometimes change brings about good things. It's kind of what humans do to kind of adapt, you know. What are you doing? No one's coming, so I'm coming back to you. What you need, buddy? Huh? I can't do anything with them. Can I do anything over here? What does leaving this place mean? What does this world look like outside these walls? Outside the city? Do you still belong out there? With the people in their soft skin, soft hands, soft hearts? Will they now be as alien to you as the sky? Oh! There's the exit! There it is. The door. Come on, Lambshank. You gotta go, bud. There was a time where slowly, one by one, people left. There were no boards then, just a closed door with the word outside growing further and further away. You didn't see them often, but a few that remained with you, but you could hear them. Human sounds that hummed in the background when you least expected it. You pulled down one of the boards. 
I'm trying to do my best dog thing. I don't know. Like, it's just saying wine seems lame. The noise has been comforting. You weren't alone. But it didn't last forever, and over time faded into nothing. They must have left, taking their chances in the city falling around them. Anything better than staying here, being inside. Trapped like a rat in a cage. Every day played out again and again and again until... You pulled down a second board. Lampshank! That's enough! You never yelled at your Lampshank before. Shame blooms deep in the pit of your stomach. But you can't look at him. Knowing that if you see the fever, fe fever, see the fear and desperation in his eyes, you'll never leave. You pull down on the final board. A beginning and an end, you think. You've been to the one, you've been the one to put them here. Reminders never leave as the city's siren song promise an escape. You lay your hands on the door, palm against the cool, thick wood. Lampshank, you ready? Uh -huh. He's trembling uncontrollably. I was darting around the room so fast they roll into the back of his head. You pull a key from your pocket. Fit into the lock. Turn the handle. Boo! Boo! Oh shit! Demon dog! Lampshake lashes forward, closing teeth on your sleeve. With a vicious yank, he pulls you backwards, away from the door. Fuck! Lampshank! Boo! Boo! Lampshake, what's going on? Every inch of his stretched skin looks like it's ready to fight. Lips peel back from inch-long teeth as saliva drips from the maw, gaping impossibly open, wide enough to swallow someone whole. Burk! 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 Lambshank! Burk! Knock, knock. No. Knock, 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 knock. It can't. Inside. You're inside again. Bo Burnham reference? <laughs> what happened? Lampshake runs through abandoned food. What the words left the words that you served still there, silent. Did it get you too? Did everyone else hear the radio? Follow its lure to the door. Burr! Munch munch. Lampshake happily devours the food. Ghostly tongue is scraping the dregs from the bottom of the bowl. Thank you, Lampshank. Yep, yep. He just in the spot, looking absurdly proud of himself. Really, I mean it. Hold your horses. Oh. Can you just go back to this in between life of fetch and half consumed coffee? Is it really that easy? Nothing. Tonight or maybe tomorrow or maybe a week from now, you'll throw the radio from the rooftop. Lampshank was right to be afraid. Oh. So the whole fucking time we had hope that we could get out. And it was just a fucking lie. It was just them trying to lure us away. Nothing. You're not too sure what you expected. Damn. So is it like zombie people? Is it like a monster? Is it Cthulhu? I don't understand. Bark bark. Wow. Okay, so what's the point then? Because if it, if we can't leave, then bark bark bark. So there is no hope of leaving. Like, is everyone just like gone? So we'll eventually die of starvation and thirst because we have no other way of getting more resources. We can't get out. You've gotten used to the violent light of the violet light beating down from above. The creature seems satisfied. If such a thing as possible. Yeah. So it is like a creature. It's not rolling in the clouds instead of breathing slowly around the tips of skyscrapers. The longest, softest breath you've ever felt vibrates through your bones. Yeah. Creepy. I like how it only uses like three colors in this entire thing. It's really interesting. Is this it? Is this everything? Is this where you must remain? <laughs> Existential fetch. That was my achievement I just got. Uh, why is it going upwards? What? 
No! That can't be it! No! No! That, okay, I'm actually getting a little emotional at that. <laughs> I was letting myself at the time because I was like, I don't. Save it till the end. Save it. Okay, so everyone else is the Wurundjeri. Well, I can't pronounce that, but apparently it's a real thing. So I, I, I'm sorry, saying it was nonsense. It's not. I thought it was something else. Oh, the Kula Nation. Okay, I apologize for saying that was nonsense. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought it was just like a thing made up for the game. It's not. I. It just sounded odd to me. I apologize for that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. How long have I been recording? About 40 minutes now. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just gonna... Okay, so... Lots of breakdown there. Um... I, uh, uh, a lot of this game got to me a little bit. I, I didn't say at the time, but I was thinking. <sighs> so, I understand now at this point. I guess this whole thing is kind of like a metaphor for, like, going through mental health stuff, which I relate to a lot. Um, I never really talked about it a lot before, but since before I started making YouTube videos, I, like, I was suffering through a lot of really bad depression I had really bad anxiety. I had like a mental breakdown twice, which was horrible. And to be honest, that this majority of that is the reason why I moved. And a lot of stuff was going on uh, in my, within my family circle. And at this point, it, it's gotten a bit better at this point, so I can talk about it a little bit. Mostly I'll talk about myself, I'm not gonna talk about that like openly right now. But. I went through something very similar to what was portrayed in this game. Like the metaphor that I think I think it was just showing a metaphor for just like feeling stuck and just feeling like you're doing the same thing because you can't get out. And this thing, which was the eldritch horror, is the depression, it is the anxiety, it is everything towering over you and keeping you from thinking you can succeed in anything or you can escape or you can do anything because this is all it is. This is it. This is all. And I remember like bawling to myself thinking that this is it this is all my life will be is misery and this is just like happy ending what's that nothing like the story that i that is my life is just a tragedy and nothing is ever going to go right for me because i don't deserve anything to go right for myself and that <laughs> um but i had a mental breakdown and like I want to say 2020 when COVID was going on. I I could barely get out of bed every day. I could barely I I could barely breathe. I could barely do anything for myself. I could barely shower. I could barely take care of myself. And I finally broke down and I went and I got health insurance and I went to the doctor for it and I got medication and I got therapy. And that started me on the road to recovery. <laughs> and at this point. I'm a lot better. I'm actually getting off my depression meds. I'm actually, um, I haven't had a panic attack in, I want to say a while, but I, they're a lot more rarer now. And I can, I feel capable. I feel good. And I hate that that was the ending to this game. Because like that, that's not where it ends. That's not where it ends. You have to believe me. Like this, it, it ends. It does. You just have to wait. And I know that it's just really hard to hear from someone, but take it from someone who's been through the worst of it and who has had suicide ideation a lot. I almost killed myself like three times, but I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't. Cause I, I just, I don't know. I can't give you a magic formula. Sorry about my mic. I can't give you a magic formula that, that fixes this, but it can, it can get better. It does get better. As long as you are willing to make the changes that will help you. It hurts like crazy to, to, to transform into a, like having a better life. But you can do it. You have to believe me. Because it doesn't end like this. It's not all of it. That's not everything. I used to think that that was it. That was all my life. I was like, going to be miserable. I was going to be keep, like I was going to keep falling apart. I was never, I was always going to be this broken person. I'm not though. I'm not. 
I was just hurting and I was and I'm still hurting. But the thing is, is that I have learned to put myself back together. It is okay to fall apart as long as you know that you will be able to put yourself back together. I'm sorry, I'm crying a little bit now, but it's just a big deal to me. And I've been to therapy and I have been on meds and I have been through so much shit. I cannot talk about it all in this video. But I realized recently that I finally am happy. I was at my worst. I felt like shit. I was I thought I was nothing. I thought I was I would always be nothing. But I'm not nothing. I am the sums of everything I've ever been through. All of my mistakes, all of my all of my good things, and I have just found more and more things to love about myself. I used to hate looking at myself in the camera or the mirror, but then I started YouTube and I was like, okay, I'm gonna show myself. Because I know that I'm not as bad as I as I think I am. And I wanna show me, even though I don't like it right now. And now I like it! I like it now! And you can like it yourself too. This is not where it ends. This is not it. This is not everything. This is not it. Your story will not end with you feeling sorry about everything and not and feeling like it'll it'll just end like this. Cause it won't. As long as you are willing to look in the mirror and be like, I am worth saving. I am worth taking care of, even if it just takes one little step at a time. Every day seems like the longest lifetime, but it just takes one day. One day of saying, okay, I'll go for that walk. Or okay, I'll, I'll make that dinner. I'll make that healthy dinner for myself. Or one night of being like, okay, I'm just going to write down my thoughts for a minute. Or it takes another day of being like, okay, I need to do this for myself, for future self. All, that's all it takes. That's it. And it's like one day at a time, one step at a time, look in the mirror and just find one thing you like. That's it. And eventually you're going to find more. You're going to have more reasons to stay alive and more reasons to love yourself and more reasons to look forward to the future because that's what happened to me and that's what happens to everyone who is willing to change a little bit and just work towards something better. I don't like the way this game ends, but it's not how anything else it will end. <laughs> so I guess I just wanted to say that because I, I really like this game. I'm sorry, I got off topic there for a second, but I liked it because it, it was a little brutally honest and it did show thoughts and feelings and all that. And I know there's a lot of people going through the same thing right now, <laughs> but that's not how it ends. No matter how hard that thing will try to keep you in its grip, you can get out. You just gotta keep going. Give it time. I mean, think about like how young I am. I'm only 21 and I thought my life was over at like 16. But it's just like... I'm not like a psychologist or anything so I can't really speak a lot about it. But I will say what I, I, I said what I said and I'm not going against that. Great game though, I looked at the sound effects, the graphics were really good, the subject matter was a lot, as you can probably tell. I know it ended because it's trying to leave it open-ended, I think, is what they're trying to, the message they're trying to send. It's like, it's like up to you how it goes. But that's not everything, that's not the end, this is not how it will go forever. For a short period in your life, you are going to, you might go through this. You might feel like... Maybe I can never let go of these feelings. Maybe I can never let go of this this trauma that I carry with me. Or these, like, these issues that plague me, like mental illness, physical illness even. And maybe you can never really get, get like, completely past it. I'm not going to say it's okay. Because obviously that shit sucks and it's fucking awful. But there's reasons. No matter how small the reason is, you got to keep living and keep going through it. Cause it's worth it in the end to me anyway but this misery isn't the end of our lives it's not what defines it you know what i mean 
I guess I just wanted to say that after I got all fussy over it. I apologize for that. That was, maybe that was a little much, but still. I do get very emotional about these kind of things, but because it means a lot to me, but yeah. Um, I'm going to post some stuff down below that is like the suicide hotline. I probably shouldn't say that. I'll probably leave that out because the for some reason you to paste that. Um, the depression hotline. I'll, I'll, I'll link some resources down below. You can, you can look at it if you need it. Um, as for this game, check it out. It's free. It's really, it's really worth checking out. Might be other achievements you can unlock as well, but I didn't, I didn't get. So strongly recommend I've been recording for almost an hour at this point. I apologize if it's so long, but just don't forget that this isn't how your story ends. You have a long way to go yet. And stuff will get better, but you have to be willing to let yourself have that, if that makes sense. It took me forever to really realize that it wasn't everything else in my life. It was also inside. I wasn't willing to let myself be happy. I wasn't willing to let myself feel like I was worthy of getting better. I'm worthy of getting better. I am worthy of saving. I am willing to let myself heal. Please let your please let yourself know that. Let your other, and let your loved ones know that if they are going through anything like this. They are worth it to heal. They are worth it to save. Because no one's life is purely defined by the bad things they've gone through or negative emotions or anything like that. That's not what life is. Even though stuff sucks, it's worth it to let yourself heal and let yourself be happy no matter what makes you happy like i used to be really ashamed of like really enjoying like childish shows or whatever but i don't i don't care really anymore i'm not gonna let myself let others define what can make me happy anymore and that's just how i'm trying to live my life i'm getting better day by day i'm still kind of suffering with some stuff but i'm getting better and i hope you will be too if you aren't already so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to stick around and watch some more of my stuff, please feel free to subscribe and hang out with me on my channel. I have a lot of fun playing games with you guys and experiencing things with you. And hope it doesn't end for a long time. And I love you guys so much. I really do. And I really hope to see you guys next time. But if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.